Hello friends, in this video lecture we will be discussing a topic from embryology and the title is embryo sac and its type. So before discussing the embryo sac and its type, we will discuss a little bit about the um, ovule. Although in the previous lecture we have discussed about the structure of the ovule and types of ovule, but I will just give you a glimpse of the uh, previous lecture in this uh, photograph over here that this is the uh, megasporophyll you can say the carpal this is the style this is the stigma portion and this portion is ovary and inside the ovary the ovules are present which are covered by the two integuments so ovule is nothing but it is integumented megasporangium okay so ovule is integumented megasporangium that means megasporangium covered by two integuments or you can say these are the two covering or two protective covering which are known as the integuments right so this is the same diagram over here but it is showing you some cellular details like the presence of micropyle the presence of uh, chalazolin the presence of placenta we will discuss later about these things but uh, over here you have just to make it clear in your mind that ovule is nothing but it is in the initial stage it is the uh, tissue which is known as the nucellar nucellar tissue which is covered by the uh, integuments right <clears throat> now before uh, studying the formation of embryo sac we have to study megasporogenesis as you can see in this slide megasporogenesis that means formation of megaspore and after the formation of megaspore we will discuss about the formation of embryo sac that is known as the megagametogenesis and then we will go to the types of embryo sac okay so here first we will discuss about the uh, formation of uh, megaspore right so formation of megaspore is known as the megasporogenesis now look here this is the actually the nucellus tissue and it is covered by the integuments right it is covered by the integuments this this is the these are two integuments you can see over here and this is the in, in the inner portion the uh, nucellus tissue is present so one of the cell just beneath the uh, epidermis portion or you can say one of the hypodermal cell it increases in size and it is known as the primary archesporial cell now this primary archesporial cell divides and it forms primary parietal cell and primary sporogenous cell now this primary parietal cell again uh, shows division and form few or more cells and this primary sporogenous cell it start working as a megaspore mother cell okay so from where we got the megaspore mother cell initially from the primary archesporial cell which is nothing but a specialized cell which is present in the upper portion of the nucleus just beneath the epidermis okay so from the archesporial cell we got the megaspore mother cell now this megaspore mother cell will divide by meiosis and it will give rise to the linear tetrad of megaspores which are four in number so this megaspore will divide by meiosis and it will give rise to the four megaspores and these four megaspores are haploid and out of these four megaspores three will degenerate and one will remain functional and it will be known as the functional megaspore so from the megaspore formation of functional megaspore is known as megasporogenesis right and from this functional megaspore formation of this structure which is known as the embryo sac it is known as the megagametogenesis right so in this slide we have learned about the megasporogenesis that is the formation of megaspore which occurs by the division of the megaspore mother cell and it will form the linear tetrad out of which three will degenerate and one will remain functional look now what happens to this uh, megaspore mother cell you can see over here also it will divide by meiosis and then again meiosis 2 will occur and four megaspore are formed which will be haploid in number so initially it was diploid and then the four haploid megaspores will be formed and out of four these three will degenerate and one will work as a uh, megaspore or it will uh, work as a, a functional megaspore now what happens to this functional megaspore from this so you can see over here these three are degenerated and this one is functional megaspore and this functional megaspore through several process or you can say through several stages give rise to this structure which is known as the embryo sac now look here this functional megaspore it will divide by 
here it will divide by mitosis so mitosis 1 will take place then mitosis 2 will take place and mitosis 3 will take place mitosis means only this nucleus is going to divide not the entire cell so this nucleus will divide and form the two nuclei again this nucleus will divide and form two nuclei here and this nuclear which is toward the other end will divide the uh, and form the two nucleus okay so we can just say that this is the uh, micropylar end and this is the chalazal end now micropylar end is that end which where the uh, two integuments are not complete we have discussed this thing in the previous lecture also where we have studied about the ovule that the ovule is covered by two integuments and where the integuments are not complete a pore formation occurs and that portion is known as the micropylar end and the end which is opposite to the micropylar end it is known as the chalazal end and from this portion or you can say from this end integuments arise okay so now we are clear regarding the two ends now let us come back to this uh, well this diagram so this functional megaspore it will divide by meiosis sorry by mitosis 1 and then again by mitosis 2 then mitosis 3 so this will divide form two nucleus this will again divide forming these two and this nucleus will divide forming these two these two are towards the micropylar end and these are towards the you can say the chalazal end then again the two nuclei which are towards the micropylar end they will again divide and they will form the set of four nucleus over here and set of four nucleus toward the chalazal end right so in this way we are having total eight nucleus inside a single cell now what happens these nuclei they will arrange themselves in such a manner which you can see over here three will remain over here these three nuclei will remain over here and one from this chalazal end and one from this uh, micropylar end they will come in the center okay they will come in the center now these three nuclei which are toward you can say which are toward the micropylar end out of these three two will behave as synergid and one will be a little larger than the both and this is known as the egg cell and here towards the chalazal end the three nuclei which will arrange themselves are known as the antipodal cell and these three nuclei will develop a thin cell wall around themselves and now they will be cells one cell two cell and three cell here also they will be behave as a cell one two and three and in the center these two nuclei one from here and one from here migrates into the center uh, you can easily see over here yahan pe dekhi char the na तो यहां चार में से एक बीच में आ जाएगा और इन चार में से भी एक बीच में आ जाएगा क्योंकि ये यहां से बीच में आए हैं तो इनको पोलर न्यूक्लियाई कहेंगे और बाद में ये पोलर न्यूक्लियाई जब फ्यूज हो जाएंगे तब इनको हम कहेंगे सेकेंडरी न्यूक्लियस राइट सो दिस इज द सेकेंडरी न्यूक्लियस नॉट दिस पोर्शन व्हिच इज टुवर्ड द यू कैन से द माइक्रोपाइलर एंड इट शोस यू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ साइनर्जर्स एंड एग सेल दिस साइनर्जर्स दे प्रोवाइड अ nutrition to the developing egg and from the base of the synergid uh, some uh, filiform like structure is formed which is also known as the filiform apparatus and this entire structure including two synergids and one egg cell is known as the egg apparatus and you can see this all the three of them are haploid and here you can see these are the uh, three antipodal cells they will also live for uh, some time and after that they will degenerate and in the center the both the nuclei came from both ends so they are known as the polar nuclei and in the later stages because they will unite now this is known as the secondary nucleus and it will be 2n it will be diploid because these both are haploid and this largest cell is known as the central cell now you can count now you can count look over here here this is the structure of embryo sac which is formed from the functional megaspore and these stages are known as the mega gametogenesis this is the chalazal end showing you the presence of three antipodals all these three antipodals are haploid they will remain for some time and later they will degenerate uh, this is the micropylar end showing you the two synergids and egg cell now these synergids they provide nutrition to the egg and filiform apparatus is present over here at the base of the two synergid cells all these three are haploid this is a cell this is a cell and this is a cell in the center this is the largest cell look this 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 one this is the largest cell and it is known as the central cell and it shows the presence of 
two polar nuclei which will fuse to form the secondary nucleus which will be 2n in structure. Now you can count over here that how many nucleus and how many cells. So this is 1 cell, 2 cell, 3 cell, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So it is a 7 cell structure. And how many nuclei? 1, 2, 1, 2, this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is a 8 nucleate structure, right? So, this is a basic structure of the embryo cell. Now, once again, we will move back so that we can revise the same thing. Look, this is the position of the ovule, which is the uh, megasporangium covered by the integuments. This is the nucellus tissue. And one of the cell just beneath the epidermis, hypodermal cell, it will behave like a primary archesporeal cell and it will give rise to the megaspore mother cell. And this megaspore mother cell, through meiosis form the linear tetrad of megaspores which will be haploid in nature and out of these uh, four megaspore the three will degenerate and one will uh, work as the functional megaspore okay so till here the stages will be known as the megasporogenesis that means we are talking about the formation of the megaspore okay now in this slide we can see that how one megaspore divides and it forms the 4 megaspore, this megaspore mother cell will divide and it will form the 4 megaspore and 3 will degenerate and 1 will form the female gametophyte. Now here we have discussed how this functional megaspore will divide through mitosis, mitosis 1, mitosis 2, mitosis 3 and giving rise to these kind of nuclei which later will develop a thin cell around, a thin cell wall around itself and this type of structure is known as a embryo sac and the formation of embryo sac from the functional megaspore is known as the uh, megagametogenesis or the formation of embryo sac or you can say the uh, female gametophyte okay now it is uh, some material over given here, over here where you can read about the egg apparatus antipodal cells uh, secondary nucleus and which uh, the portion which we have discussed is the monosporic embryo sac and polygonum type what we have discussed just now, this type is known as the polygonum type or we can say that it is the uh, monosporic embryo sac, right? Okay, come over here. Now, these are types of embryo sac. This is the, these are the various types of embryo sac. So, you can see over here, I have written monosporic, bisporic and tetrasporic. So, there are three categories. One is monosporic type of embryo sac, bisporic embryo sac and tetrasporic embryo sac. In monosporic type uh, category, there are two types. One is known as polygonum, then onothera, right? So, in monosporic type, there are two types, which is known as polygonum and onothera type. Now, in bisporic category, there are again two types. One is allium type and the other one is endymion type. In case of tetrasporic type category, there are seven types. We can say adoxa type, pinea type. Plumbago type, Peperomia type, Drusa type, Fritillaria type and Plumbagella type. Right. So, now you don't need to get confused uh, regarding this. Now, from here to here. Now, let's see. From here to here, it is Megasporogenesis. From here to here, it is Megagametogenesis. Right. So, Megasporogenesis means formation of Megaspore. From megaspore mother cell, megaspore. Yani megasporogenesis mein humko functional megaspore banna dekhna hai, jo ki megaspore mother cell se banega. To megaspore mother cell kya banega? Functional megaspore banega. Abhi functional megaspore jo hai, ye aage chal ke embryo sac tak ka development karega. Aur in stages ko hum kya kahenge? Megagametogenesis, right? Aur megagametogenesis ke baad jo finally ban kar ke tayar hua hai, ye humare embryo sac ka naam hai. जिसमें कई तरह के एम्ब्रियो सैक है मैंने बताया टाइप्स ऑफ एम्ब्रियो सैक और उनमें भी उनकी तीन कैटेगरी है मोनोस्पोरिक बाइस्पोरिक और टेट्रास्पोरिक अब इसमें यहां पे ये ये आपने देख लिया अब नाउ यू सी ओवर हियर लुक नाउ दिस इज शोइंग यू दिस एंटायर थिंग इज शोइंग यू द मेगास्पोर मदर सेल आफ्टर मियोसिस 1 आफ्टर मियोसिस 2 नाउ दिस इज द फर्स्ट माइटोटिक डिवीजन सेकंड माइटोटिक डिवीजन एंड थर्ड माइटोटिक डिवीजन राइट now, let us move to the next slide. Look. Now, we are talking about the uh, first monosporic type. And why it is monosporic? Because it is derived from one megaspore of the tetrad. Because we know the uh, three degenerated and one remain functional. 
and all the nuclei in this embryo sac are similar because they are the product of the uh, single megaspore. Look here, polygonum type and ornothera type. So this is megasporogenesis, megagametogenesis, formation of polygonum, eight nuclear type of embryo sac and this is the type of monosporic. Again, ornothera type, it is four nucleate, it is again a type of monosporic and from here to here, it is megasporogenesis, then megagametogenesis and then we come to the bisporic. Here, uh, the development of the entire uh, embryo sac, you can say, it takes place from two megaspore nuclei, right? It takes place from two megaspore nuclei. You can see over here, these two megaspore nuclei will take uh, uh, formation, will take part in the formation of further process. Look here, two nuclei are present, so it will divide and it will divide. Now, again, these two will divide and these two will divide. So, four nuclei over here, four nuclei over here. So, it is the 8 nucleate condition, it is allium type and endymion type. Now, in tetrasporic type, there is total failure of cytokinesis after meiosis 1 and you can say meiosis 2. Thus, 4 nucleate condition is formed, which is known as the senomegaspore. Now, we will go to the next slide, then it will be more clear. Now, these are the uh, tetrasporic embryo sac, where adoxa, plumbaga, penacea, peperomia, drusa, plumbagella, fritillaria, these are the types. Now, you please don't get confused and don't think that it is a very um, tough topic. Look. Now, this is a handmade slide. Now, you can see how the polygonum type of embryo sac look like. How the onithera type. It is monosporic type. It is bisporic and these are the tetrasporic. In monosporic, you can see the polygonum type. It is 8 nucleate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In onithera type, 1, 2, 3, 4. You have to remember only this, right? So, just remember only this. Here, 8 nucleate, 4 nucleate. It is known as the polygonum type. It is onithera type. And which is main category is monosporic. In bisporic, allium type. It is 8 nucleate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And demion type, it is again 8 nucleate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 nucleate. So, these both are the types of bisporic. Now, let us come to the tetrasporic type of embryo sac. A doxa type 8 nucleate count 1, 2, 3, 2 over here, 3, 3, 3, 6, 2, 8. A doxa type, right? In the pinea type, it is 16 nucleate. Look, 3 here, 3 here, 3 here, 3 here, and 4 over here. In plumbago type, it is 8 nucleate 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4 in the center. In peperomia type, it is 16 nucleate 2, 2, 2, 2, and 8 in the central cell. In rusa type, it is 16 nucleate. 3 over here, 2 in the center and 11 over this side. This side means it is the chalazal end and this is the micropylar end. Now in the fritillaria type it is 8 nucleate, 3 over here, 2 in the center, 3 towards the chalazal end. In the plumbaga type it is 4 nucleate, 1 at micropylar end, 1 at chalazal end and 2 in the central portion. Now, you don't need to get confused or it is very tough topic. No, it's not like that. You just remember this thing. Keval dekhi aap itna yaad kariye ki teen categories hain aapke paas. Ek monosporic type ki, ek bisporic or ek tetrasporic. Itna bhi yaad kar sakte hain. Monosporic mein do type yaad karega, polygonum or nithra. Or kitna kitna nucleus is mein hain. Eight nucleus hain, is mein char nucleus hain. Achha, jo nucleus ka jo position hai, ye thoda dekhega. Ki chalazal end par kitne hain, chalazal end par or micropylar end par. ठीक है ना चलाजल एंड पर और माइक्रोपाइलर एंड माइक्रोपाइलर एंड हम उसको कहेंगे जहां पे हमारे इंटेग्यूमेंट्स मीट नहीं होते और माइक्रोपाइल बनता है और उसके ऑपोजिट चलाजल एंड होगा तो हमको केवल इसके नंबर ऑफ न्यूक्लियस को याद रखना है तो नाम याद रखिए पॉलीगोनम टाइप और नोथरा टाइप ये मोनोस्पोरिक के हैं बाइस्पोरिक टाइप में एलियम टाइप एंडिमियन टाइप इसमें भी 8 8 न्यूक्लियट कंडीशन है उसके बाद टेट्रास्पोरिक टाइप में देखिए एडोक्सा टाइप में 8 न्यूक्लियट पिनिया टाइप में 16 न्यूक्लियट प्लम्बेगो टाइप में 8 न्यूक्लियट पेपिरोमिया टाइप में 16 ड्रूसा में 16 फ्रिटिलेरिया में 8 और यह है प्लम्बेजला टाइप जिसमें है 4 न्यूक्लियस और इनकी पोजीशनिंग कैसे है यह थोड़ा देखिएगा जैसे कि चलाजल एंड पे 3 है माइक्रोपाइलर एंड पे 3 है दो बीच में है इसी तरह से यहां पे 3 इधर है 3 इधर है दो लेटरल साइड पर है यहां पे एक 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 बिल्कुल पेरिफेरी पर है चार सेंट्रल में है यहां पे 8 सेंट्रल पे है दो माइक्रोपाइलर पे है दो चलाजल एंड पे हैं, दो लेटरल साइड पे हैं। यहाँ पे देखिए तीन जो हैं आपको माइक्रोपाइलर एंड पे मिल रहे हैं। एक न्यूक्लियाई चलाजल एंड पे हैं, दो सेंट्रल पर हैं। यहाँ पर कितने हैं देखिए? तीन आपको माइक्रोपाइलर एंड पे मिल रहे हैं। 
तीन चलाजल एंड पर दो सेंट्रल पर और प्लम्बेजेला टाइप में एक माइक्रोपाइलर एंड पे एक चलाजल एंड में और दो सेंट्रल टाइप में तो इतना तो आप इसका याद कर ही सकते हैं अब पिछली साइड में आकर के अब आप देख लीजिए क्लियर आपको हो गया होगा पूरी चीज़ कि पहले आपको देखना है कि मेगास्पोरोजेनेसिस कैसे हो रही है यानी कि ये देखिए आर्चिस्पोरियल सेल से एक फंक्शनल मेगास्पोर कैसे बन रहा है तीन डिजेनरेट का जा रहा है एक ही फंक्शनल है अब ये फंक्शनल मेगास्पोर आगे चल करके ये देखिए फंक्शनल मेगास्पोर आगे चल करके कैसे बना रहा है ये पूरा का पूरा एम्ब्रियो सैक बना रहा है इसको हम क्या कहेंगे मेगा गेमेटोजेनेसिस ये आप देख रहे हैं ये एक नॉर्मल टाइप का आपको एनजियोस्पम में एम्ब्रियो सैक का स्ट्रक्चर दिखाई देगा जिसमें आपने सबको समझ लिया अब एम्ब्रियो सैक के टाइप्स आपने देख लिए ये एम्ब्रियो सैक के जनरल स्ट्रक्चर का थोड़ा सा इसमें आप देख सकते हैं कि यू हैव सम मटीरियल ओवे हर रिगार्डिंग योर थ्योरी पार्ट दैट वट इज एगरेटस एंटीपोटल सेल सेकेंडरी न्यूक्लियस एंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइज एम्ब्रियो सैक सो वंस अगेन आई विल जस्ट डिस्क्राइब द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस एम्ब्रियो सैक सो आफ्टर दीज डिविजन यू आर गेटिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ अरेंजमेंट वेयर द न्यूक्लियस दिस दिस लुक ओवर हेयर फोर न्यूक्लियर ओवर हेयर एंड फोर ओवर हेयर तो इन चार को और इन चार को अरेंज करके एक स्ट्रक्चर बनाना है जिसको हम कह रहे हैं एम्ब्रियो सैक और ये किस तरह से अपने को अरेंज करेंगे ये न्यूक्लियस कुछ एंटीबॉडल सेल पे जाएंगे कुछ चलाजल एंड पे जाएंगे जैसे कि आपने भी प्रीवियस स्लाइड में देखा तो उस तरह से इनके अलग अलग टाइप्स या अलग अलग कैटेगरीज बन जाएंगी जो हम सामने देख रहे हैं ये हमारा मोनोस्पोरिक टाइप का है तो इसमें आप देखिए ये जो चार हैं इन चार में से तीन माइक्रोपाइलर एंड पर अटैच हो गए तीन चलाजल एंड पर और माइक्रोपाइलर एंड का और चलाजल एंड का एक एक न्यूक्लियस सेंटर पर आ गया जिसको कि आप साइनर्जर्स कह रहे हैं एक एग है ये सेंट्रल सेल है पूरा बड़ा सा इसके अंदर दो पोलर न्यूक्लियाई हैं ये पोलर न्यूक्लियाई आपस में फ्यूज करके डिप्रॉइड स्ट्रक्चर बना लेंगे और अब देखिए दो टर्म मैं आपको और बताऊंगी वन इज डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड ट्रिपल फ्यूजन नॉट डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन इज दैट वन ऑफ द मेल गेमीट विल फर्टिलाइज दिस एग एंड वन ऑफ द मेल गेमीट विच फर्टिलाइज दिस सेंट्रल सेल विच इज दी सेंट्रल सेकेंडरी न्यूक्लियस सो दिस इज द सेकेंडरी न्यूक्लियस सो वन मेल गेमिट विल फर्टिलाइज दिस एंड वन मेल गेमिट विल फर्टिलाइज दिस सो इट इज नोन एज दी डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड ट्रिपल फ्यूजन वाई बिकॉज दिस सेकेंडरी न्यूक्लियस इज ऑलरेडी डिप्लॉयड एंड द मेल गेमिट विच इज गोइंग टू फर्टिलाइज दिस सेकेंडरी न्यूक्लियस विल भी डिप्लॉयड तो ये जो स्ट्रक्चर है बाद में चल के ट्रिप्लॉयड बन जाएगा जिसको आप कहेंगे एंटोस्पम तो इतना आपको इसमें थोड़ा देखना पड़ेगा कि आपको इसमें देखिए हाँ ये आपको मोनोस्पोरिक और बाइस्पोरिक यहाँ से थोड़ा पढ़िएगा एक मेगास्पोर टेट्रैट से पूरा बन रहा है यहाँ पे दो मेगास्पोर न्यूक्लिया यूज हो रहे हैं और यहाँ पे फेलियर हो जा रहा है साइटोकाइनेसिस का म्योसिस वन और म्योसिस दो के द्वारा बाद में तो जो फोर न्यूक्लियट स्टेज है सीनो मेगास्पोर बनेगा इससे और वो फर्दर डेवलप करेगा एम्ब्रियो सैक में तो ये थोड़ा सा मटीरियल यहाँ से आप नोट करिएगा मोनोस्पोरिक बाइस्पोरिक और टेट्रास्पोरिक का और उसके बाद आप टाइप्स को यहाँ से देख सकते हैं कि टेट्रास्पोरिक में कैसे है और एक मैंने कॉन्सोलिडेटेड स्लाइड आपके लिए बना दी है जिसमें आप मोनोस्पोरिक बाइस्पोरिक और टेट्रास्पोरिक के टाइप्स देख सकते हैं और इनके कितने न्यूक्लियस है इसमें कितना न्यूक्लियर स्ट्रक्चर है इसको देख सकते हैं थैंक यू